And a first alert weather. All right, welcome back, everybody. Good Sunday evening to you. Hope you had a great weekend today. Certainly proving to be a much quieter day. One we certainly needed after the severe storms came through yesterday and left behind all that damage in many parts of the area. Quick update here on the tropics for tonight. We still have Hurricane Ernesto out there in the uh, now north uh, northern Atlantic here, uh, actually restrengthening to a hurricane over the course of the day today. It had last night during the overnight hours weakened down to a tropical storm, but kind of found its footing again here. And as of tonight, maximum sustained winds 80 miles per hour again, makes it a category one hurricane as it continues off toward the north northeast, picking up speed at about 20 miles per hour. It's about 435 miles south southeast of Halifax in Nova Scotia, where they could get some of the outer bands and some heavier surf uh, certainly there for tomorrow. But beyond that, storm's going to start to make a hard right out into the North Atlantic and then next couple of days should be gone for good. As for weather back here at home tonight, very quiet as you see on satellite and radar at uh, this point, barely uh, some showers in parts of the mountains were trying to sink their way south, but fell apart pretty quickly. Any earlier hints of showers and storms we had in the upstate long gone, so we're left with mostly clear skies now as we move into the overnight period. There was still a cold frontal boundary northwest of us moving into Tennessee. This will sweep on south through the area tonight and into tomorrow. And this is going to be the big game changer in our weather for the upcoming week. Milder and much drier air poised to sink south behind this boundary. It's going to take the better part of the day tomorrow for us to really start to feel the changes. But once they settle in rest of the week, as you saw in the humidity forecast a few minutes ago, very much going to be on a much more comfortable track. So on your future track here, uh, speaking of tracks, let's go into the overnight period uh, again. Uh, mostly clear skies for the vast majority of us, maybe closer to the Tennessee border. You might get a quick shower or two into first thing tomorrow morning. I think the more likely scenario is that you'll face patchy fog in many of the mountain areas tomorrow. So watch your step on the AM drive. Can't rule out some in the upstate, but comparatively, uh, I think we'll see less. Uh, in most upstate locations. Then it's a mostly sunny day from there into the noon hour. Tomorrow afternoon may again feature one or two more isolated showers or storms. Best chance in the mountains as we get some lingering energy behind this cold front sinking on through. But much like today, we're going to be hard pressed to scare up any showers and storms at all, but uh, still don't uh, completely keep that possibility out of mind for you tomorrow. Going into tomorrow evening, we could uh, again uh, maybe see a leftover shower, but very, very few of us poised to pick up any rain at all for tomorrow. And for tonight, we start this process of trending more, uh, trending toward more comfortable weather. Low temp around 69 degrees upstate, mostly clear skies, some patchy fog possible by daybreak, and then an absolutely gorgeous week here in your seven day forecast. 87 the high temp in the upstate for tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies will keep that very minor chance of a shower or storm in there for the day. And the only other chance that even has a low possibility of a shower or storm comes in on Thursday. Rest of the week features partly to mostly sunny skies, low to mid 80s for high temps through the end of the work week, low to mid 60s for low temps at night. And with that coming with low humidity, trust me, it's going to be feeling more like fall for a good stretch this week. And for the mountains, we get a stretch of upper 70s for your high temps Monday through Thursday. Look at your low temps through Friday night down into the 50s. Isolated storms possible tomorrow, then a mix of sun and clouds straight on into next weekend. Make sure